Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of something that's a little bit different from what I usually talk about on my channel. This is the Mictivia and what it is is essentially a way of wirelessly transmitting uh, HDMI data to your TV from your Mac. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll have a look at the back. This actually won the Best of Show award at the at Macworld 2011. So here you go. Brings your Mac screen to HDTV via Wi-Fi and you can control your Mac from the TV. Okay, so we've got like kind of a wirelessy looking symbol. We've got kind of a wirelessy looking symbol and a wirelessy looking symbol. It all goes here and then you are able to control it from your TV. So your Mac doesn't even actually have to be in the same room. It works off Wi-Fi. Actually, here, we can have a look at the Mac PC requirements really quick. So it requires a dual core 1.4 gigahertz or better. It requires a graphics card with 128 megs of RAM or more, so pretty much anything in the recent past. Uh, Mac OS 10.5 plus. Okay, here's some recommended models. Excellent. Uh, oh, well, okay, apparently it works on PC as well. Look at that, with Vista or Windows 7. Okay, well that's that's neat to keen. All right, wirelessly bring the Mac screen to the TV with synchronized audio even. Remotely operate your Mac from the TV with standard USB keyboard and mouse. Also works as a home wireless access point, that's cool. And support for PC Sender for Windows 7 and Vista through additional software. Okay, let's open this up and have a look at it. So the first thing we find inside is please visit us for the latest drivers and firmware updates and manual downloads. Hey, that's great advice, isn't it? Don't use this. Please visit us for the latest. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. There is a quick installation guide. So since I'm actually curious about how to install this, we are going to take a closer look for a change. All right, before you start, there are four setup possibilities. You can use Ethernet. So that's going to give you the best performance versus using wireless. All right, next is using a power line uh, adapter. Powerline provides very good performance. I mean, really, it's, it's almost right up there with wired if you have good clean power in your house and if you have a decent power line adapter. So that's another good recommendation. Partly wireless. That is reasonable performance. Okay, so if a wireless connection is preferred, you can connect your home access point and Mictivia via cables and access either from your home AP or from Mictivia. Okay, and then there's purely wireless, which is basic performance. You can also try setting up Mictivia as a wireless client to your home AP via AP client mode. However, the setup is more complicated and vulnerable to any interference in the Wi-Fi signal. Okay, so they give you a bunch of different options for how to use it, and the video quality actually can scale with how good your connection is. So let's go ahead and see what we've got in here in terms of accessories. There's a box. Oh wow, it's a lot smaller than I thought. Look at this picture on the outside of the box. Looks like huge, doesn't it? Looks like the size of like a big home router, but it's not at all. Okay, so why don't we, let's check out the accessories first. Oh boy. Lots of different adapters. So I will be needing this one. That is actually a pretty neat way of doing this. Um, rather than create international versions of their product, they create one SKU, Make sure it's got everything you need. Make sure that this is compatible with either 120 volt or 240 volt. And then boom, you just clip in your thing. If you're not planning on traveling anywhere in the near future, then you just throw these out because you clearly don't need them and you just use the one you need. Okay, so that's just an AC to DC adapter and that will plug into the Mictivia. Obviously, I'm gonna be having to do a follow-up video on this one showing you guys its performance in the real world. I'll use, uh, I'll borrow a Mac from Cameraman and uh, we'll probably demo it on the Tech Tips TV right behind me, which does use HDMI. So it's got kind of a slick looking mirror finish on it. And it's got a couple of antennas here. Here we are. All right, so we'll go ahead and throw those on there. Pretty neat looking little box actually. But basically what you can do Hold on, I'm just going to finish up uh, getting this all assembled here, and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. Okay. All right. Power button on the front. On the side, you see some of the housing. On the other side, you see some of the housing. This feels like it's made of aluminum. That would be my guess, but, uh, you know, it feels very, very solid. It's got some, some heft to it. It doesn't feel cheaply made at all. You've got rubber feet on the bottom, so wherever you put it down, it's not going to, well, if you put it down on a cloth, then obviously it can move around. But if you put it down on something that's not a cloth, then it's not going to move around at all. All right, on the back, 
We have our Ethernet port, so that is the way to get the best performance. You can also use that Ethernet port with a power line adapter. That works very well as well. Then we have wireless, so you can use the wireless in those two different ways that we outlined before. You have a USB port, so you can use that to plug in a standard keyboard and mouse um, hub, whatever the case may be. You can use that to wirelessly control your Mac, even if it's not in the same room as you, like if you are using uh, Powerline Ethernet, for example, your Mac's upstairs, boom, use that to control it. And then we've got the HDMI out, and that's gonna go out to your TV. And finally, we have a power in. So I'm actually very excited to try out this product. Stay tuned, guys, and I will be showing you the McTivia in action.